look at an animal from afar, you say, well, it's no longer alive. And, and on some level, you're right, that animal is not alive. But on a different level, it's very much alive. The microbes that are present in your body begin to consume the tissue. So technically, there is still life associated with the structure that you see in front of you. Entomology is the study of insects and their relatives. Forensics is anything dealing with the court of law. And obviously, forensic entomology is insects dealing with uh, human matters, such as uh, determining when someone died or how long someone might have been colonized while they were alive. My research focuses on the decomposition process, and I'm able to apply that in a lot of different areas, but one area where I've specialized is how to understand how things decompose and then apply that information in criminal investigations to determine how long an individual may have been dead or colonized by these insects. We have a, a willed body donation program, and so we, we usually get a, between about five and six bodies a, a month that are donated to us. And there they are put out and allowed to decay, and we monitor that decay process. Over time, the insect community that's present on the body will change. What we see initially are the flies that come in. They will colonize the body, and what we see is that they come in, lay their eggs or larvae in different orifices of the body, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the genital area. They will initiate the consumption of the body. And what we see from there is beetle species will come in. They, now, those beetles will feed on the body. They may feed on the larvae and the beetles are responsible for really cleaning up the, the remains at the end. Once we have this pattern that we, uh, of how things change through time, how the odors change, how the m microbes change, which insects are present and not, then we can use this information to estimate the time since death. Mother Nature is a very efficient machine. It's very good about recycling nutrients, and that's where these insects come in, is that they have evolved to take care of these unpredictable resources of nature. And they have to compete with other insects, other vertebrates, to get to that resource, so they do it very fast. 